Welcome back, Gumi Gang. In my last video where I talked about how shotguns should be primary guns in Cold War, it was met with overall good reactions. Some people disagreed, many agreed, but I think most would agree that shotgun secondaries just kind of complicate weapon balancing overall, and they should really just be kept as primaries, and if Treyarch doesn't want them to be abused, just make them weak primaries. It's pretty simple in my opinion. But I think most of us know it's just not going to happen. I mean, it's not 100% out of the picture to just change things up and have them as primaries, similar to how World War II had their division overall, which actually made the game a bit better, but I highly doubt Treyarch is going to budge on this issue. So sadly, we're just going to have to deal with this situation till at least fall of 2021 with the next Call of Duty. So what I want to do with this video is to give you guys a glimmer of hope. While they are secondaries and can be hit or miss, mostly miss, I want to offer my own input on how to make them work a bit better. Now, I'm not a pub-stopping, amazing god, MLG athlete or anything, but I've challenged myself to use shotguns for the past few years, mostly for fun, and the playstyle I've developed seems to really help that. Now, don't get me wrong, you're still going to die to some BS deaths, and you could probably just camp your ass off if you're really truly dead set on going 10 and 0 in search and destroy with a shotgun. Now, my combat record may look a bit weird. Most notably, if you look at the left side, I have two other guns that I have kills with, and they combine to a total of three kills. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know that I've been challenging myself this year to just get shotgun only kills on this account and nothing else, like these knives only, but unfortunately, sometimes I spawn in with an enemy right in my face shooting, and my first instinct and reflex is to shoot back, and three of those times I had my primary weapon equipped and I managed to hit them at least once before realizing I wasn't using my shotgun. Then they die, but I still get rewarded the elimination even though I didn't finish the kill. I would argue that those three kills shouldn't count, but whatever, it's no big deal. Just know that I didn't intentionally get these three. Anyway, I have close to a solid 2kd with both shotguns, and that's playing pretty aggressively and even playing some objective modes like hardpoint and domination. So with this video, I want to offer you four tips on how to effectively main a shotgun in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So let's get started with tip number one, and these tips are in no particular order. Tip number one using the right attachments. Now this probably seems like a no-brainer and it can even be applied to any weapon really, but with shotguns some attachments are just not a good choice at all. We have some attachments like the SOCOM Blast Mitigator that just don't really help anything worth noting and yet still hurt some of your stats, or attachments like the Agency Choke which sound great in theory but fall short so bad. I don't recommend you using the Agency Choke by the way in core game modes at all. It hurts range too much and the only real reason to use it would be to combine it with the Task Force Barrel so you get a suppressed pseudo slug, but sadly it cuts range by about 31%, and that's actually more of a range cut than the added range you get from the ranger barrel, 30%. It's bad. Now on the gallo, aim down sights attachments do help, but really it's not a gun you need to be ADSing with. So for that gun, you'd want to be using hip fire attachments and also lasers or the duckbill choke. For the Hauer, don't bother using the rate of fire barrel because the difference is so minimal, it just doesn't help much at all. 6% is really not noticeable, even to me who uses this gun pretty religiously. Also, don't bother with worrying about flinch resistance too. I don't know why shotguns couldn't get more unique attachments because some of these are obviously just copy and paste from other weapon classes. Now, for your class, kidding for range is usually the best option. For the Hauer, I want to suggest try using the Ranger Barrel over the Task Force Barrel for a few reasons. As you know, the Hauer got nerfed recently and the Task Force Barrel one-shot range was reduced by a meter or so from about 10 to 9 meters basically. Not a huge nerf, but the one-shot kill is very inconsistent and the Ranger Barrel, which also caught a nerf, can still one-shot up to around 7.8 meters, which isn't too far off from the Task Force Barrel's 9 9.2 meters. But with the Hauer, you want to accept that 90% of your engagements are going to result in two-shot kills, so having that extra damage and one-shot kill range is not really as helpful as it used to be. It's still good, but the Ranger Barrel is a bit better now in my opinion since you can engage a little bit further and not lose any effective range. Now, sprint out reducing attachments are excellent and really help aggressive playing, and also, if I didn't mention this already, don't use a sight on your shotgun. It's really just kind of a wasted slot. So, since the recent shotgun nerfs the Hauer, I kit it out for range and mobility, and for the Gallo, I usually go for running the reinforced heavy barrel for a faster fire rate and more range. The Task Force is okay for the Gallo, but you'll struggle with its super slow fire rate, at least compared to what it used to be. Now, that nerf hit it hard, so you'll still be getting outgunned despite having more damage output, so you'll probably want to be having a quicker fire rate overall. Now, here is my example of a good Hauer class for you. Now, use the no stock attachment, the range 
Danger Barrel, 5 milliwatt laser, the Serpent Grip for a slightly faster aim down sights time with a minimal sprint out penalty, and then you can either use a Suppressor, not the Agency Choke, for flanks, or you can try using a bigger magazine like the 6 or the 8 round. Now, the Suppressor does cut range some, but it's still very usable, and it really helps get the edge on some weaker players. For the Gallo, try using No Stock, the Reinforced Heavy Barrel, 12 round mags, 5 milliwatt laser, and then you can use the Duckbill Choke for more spread, or maybe a Suppressor to keep you a bit more quiet. Now, let's move on to tip number two, which is kind of piggybacking off of the first. Number two, don't aim down sights too much. Now, this might sound super counterintuitive in most cases, it tightens your pellet spread and it makes you get more pellets on target. In most Call of Duties, this is usually the way to go, and for the Howard, it still generally is. For the Gallo, aim down sights is nice, but most definitely not the best way to go, unless you're really far, which is still a bad idea in my opinion. But again, focusing on the Howard for this one, it really isn't always best. In case you didn't know, the Howard actually has a different fire rate for hip firing than aiming down sights. When you do aim down sights, it shoots a bit slower, and when you hip fire, it is noticeably faster. Faster. Aiming down sights on the Howard does help to a degree, but only really helps at that last bit of its max one-shot kill range, so usually 5 to 8 meters or so depending on barrel choice. Now in that range, you can try to aim down sights, but be warned that your follow-up shot, if you miss, will be painfully slower than if you just hit fired with a decent laser equipped. I don't want to say don't aim down sights, not at all, it's still good and it's definitely helpful, but I just want to say don't solely focus on it in most engagements, like in most other CODs where it seems to help all the time. The Howard at the end of the day is still kind of inconsistent, so sometimes it's best to accept that two-shot kill and use that faster fire rate to your advantage. Again, this mostly applies to the Hauer, since the Gallo doesn't have that mechanic, but the Gallo isn't really an aim down sights essential shotgun anyway. The only time ADS is super important is when you use the Hauer and the V-choke to get that pseudo slug with the task force barrel, or when you're really pushing that 20 meter max range. Three-shot kills are very common at this range now unless you hit most of your pellets, so it's almost more advised to avoid that range and just stick to 15 meters max and hit fire more. Tip number three, take a breather, don't push too hard, and don't be too aggressive of a rusher. Now this really goes for a lot of weapons, but specifically shotguns will have a hard time being too aggressive. Take Raid for example, which I've been playing pretty much constantly since it came in. Now are you guilty of this example? I'm guilty of it, and I'm sure a lot of people are. Now, there are other routes I could have taken, yeah, but the point still stands that shotguns in general can be difficult to rush with compared to SMGs and against people who are pre-aiming, but in this game in particular, it's even harder. This is a problem that I still have from time to time. Maybe you get killed by one guy three times in a row, you're frustrated, you're disappointed in yourself, and then you let your frustrations come out, and in the game, you just make silly mistakes. It happens to the best of us. Now, some games, being balls to the wall aggressive, can work, sometimes the stars align and you go on a massive streak and people just can't stop you, but that's probably not often if I had to guess, especially with SBMM. Now rushing is fine obviously, but I suggest rushing with patrolling sprinkled in. I don't mean camp, I mean find an area you can patrol like a hall monitor and stay there for a few kills, then head out to another location. Again, I'm not advocating to camp in a corner or anything like that, but I think a lot of us expect to go off like a pro and let our reflexes carry us to victory, but it just doesn't work like that often, especially with shotguns that are more often than not a two-shot kill. Sometimes it's best to let the aggressive enemies come to you. Again, I'm not saying super aggressive playing doesn't work and I'm not saying to camp, but I'm saying if you play with shotguns as a main weapon often, there are going to be many times where you are going to have to take a breather, reload, think about your next move, and then you can head out. And tip number four for my last tip, don't forget about the trophy system. Now by far the most useful piece of equipment for me since launch has been the trophy system. I usually use Gearhead to get two charges for it and I have it recharge more quickly. Now as someone who runs around shotgunning most of the time, throwing one of these bad boys when you're in cover or on a capture point can be absolutely essential to saving your ass and it has mine many times. Now couple this with Stimshot and it can be a lifesaver. Imagine running into a dangerous 
first enemy, with someone camping a head glitch, you take a shot, jump into cover, immediately throw your trophy system and hit your stim shot. Hopefully a teammate can bail you out, or you can surprise the enemy enough to get the drop on them. Now it can seriously help your playing if you're aggressive, and I don't see many people rocking trophy systems in my lobbies. Generally it's mines or field mics, but the trophy system is an ace in the hole at certain times. Lately, I've been trying to go for a Howard nuke, and as a side note, it isn't really going very well in core, but the trophy system has been so helpful because if I need to reload or take a second like from the point I had before, they really help a lot. No stuns or frags are getting near me and it really works well. There are other equipment that also help like the stim shot or smoke grenades, but trophy systems have been my favorite in this particular game so far. Smokes are good as well, but they haven't been as effective for me as they have been in Modern Warfare sadly. And that does it for my tips on how to use shotguns more effectively in Black Ops Cold War. They may not be life changing, but I found these are great tips that anyone should try using to their advantage, especially if they're using shotguns and they're kind of new to it. Cold War is not a super shotgun friendly game. We all know that. Now, despite everyone having access to one easily, they just aren't that great, especially going up against literally any gun outside of five meters. At the end of the day though, I'm sure most of us will end up running a shotgun anyway, because when they do work, they are a lot of fun and we all have easy access to them. And that is going to do it for this video, guys. Now, as a side note, I want to say that I am bringing back my pistol guides from Modern Warfare. Contrary to my channel saying shotguns only, I do branch out occasionally, and I think it's a good time for that. So stay tuned for that if you like gun guides and stat videos. Be sure to subscribe, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed this type of content. And with all that being said and out of the way, I want to wish you all a happy day slash night, and I'll see you in the next video.